Hi guys, it's Roxy here from All Ours Forever. Let's straighten this up a little bit. It's just a little crooked. There we go. I don't feel like we're tipped. <laughs> so, we're doing just a quick, easy fall craft. Um, I've never done this, but I saw this um, on numerous, numerous sites. And uh, too many to even name one person, really, that, uh, that I got this idea from. Um, and I'm sure you've seen versions of this. I've never tried it before, so this is a first for me. So give me a little grace here. But let's try it, see what happens. All right, I'll put my glasses on here. So to do this, I'm just using the regular size canning jar um, rims. And you need 20 of them. I've seen varying instructions. Some said 18, some said 20. We're going to go with 20 to begin with. Okay, we'll see how it works. The next thing I did was, now you can either paint these any color you want, or you can use um, scrapbook paper and cut it into strips and glue it on the rims. I used some washi tape. I believe that's how it's called. Washi tape. And I had various colors. I just did a gold and white theme. I had all different, all different sizes and designs. So I'm just gonna intermingle them and we'll see how it turns out. Got a few left here to go. Um, I've only recently used this. It works really simple. Uh, you've ever used this before let me know what you use it for I know a lot of people use it in their in their notebooks and and uh, scrapbooking I had never used it before but it seems really handy for a lot of different crafts just peel off the back here and put it right around the rim Hear my puppy dogger's toenails there. Sounds like she needs a manicure. Hope you're all doing good. We're into the week. Looking at Tuesday. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna stick down. You gotta kind of push it down firmly. And then this just overlaps a little bit, so I'm just going to push it down. It's not a whole lot. If it was too awful much, I'd probably just uh, cut it off. And I may, because it's not sticking down real well, so let's see what I can do here. I'll just trim a little bit. Yep, that works. That works pretty easy. So, how's the weather doing out your way? We're actually getting a little bit cooler weather, which is nice. I'm still not quite ready to give up on summer yet, though. But I am enjoying the cooler nights and mornings. We've been working on our front porch, adding an actual front porch to our house. It's so nice. So, so nice. I find it's one of my favorite spots now to sit and we have quite a few um, bushes out front that are still in bloom so the hummingbirds love it. Okay, just a couple more to do here. I've done most of these ahead of time so it wouldn't take too awful long. And you can get this in varying widths also. I found some really cute, cute Halloween that's um, there's one, two, three, four, five rolls there. You can see they're not very wide. And they've got all different designs. And like I said, I'm sure all you crafters and avid uh, scrapbook people out there have known about this for a long time. Way ahead of me on this, I'm sure. It works great with this. 
because I don't always have the time or the patience to sit and cut all these little strips. And again, I think I'm just going to cut this extra off, just like such. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy out there. I'm not going to go into the controversies around COVID, but certainly, certainly hope you're all doing well. And I certainly understand the anxiety. You know, this is probably one of the biggest anxiety producers that we've seen in a long time as a society. And it's not just the adults that are having anxiety. You know, a lot of kids, this is a hard thing for them to understand. And it produces a lot of anxiety in them too. So be a little extra patient with them. You know, just like we have to be with each other. Remember the kids are, are uh, taking a little bit of a blunt of this too. Not as bad as mom and dad and all of us, I'm sure, but but they still realize it, you know, they pick up on everything we're feeling and and it's changed a lot for them too. You know, they're not seeing their friends probably as much. School's different. You know, nothing's quite the same. Although sometimes I think they adapt a little bit better than we do as adults. Change is hard. Especially when you get older, you know, you kind of get set in your ways. But we'll make it through this. We just have to be patient and kind with each other. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Press that down, trim it off. Only got two more to go. You know, we really are social beings, too. That's the other thing that I don't think many of us really think about on a daily basis. Because we take it so for granted that we have freedom in this country. We have the freedom to move around and go just about anywhere we want. Do whatever we want to do. You know, not like in a lot of countries. And um, COVID has kind of put a whole new spin on that. You know, at the very least has made us think about, do we really want to go to a large concert? Do we really want to go to a, a large gathering? It's kind of changed things. I know I, for one, will be glad someday when life gets back to normal. You know, that other normal, not this new normal. I don't like this new normal. How about you? Ah, I miss my trip to Disneyland every year. The professor and I we usually go to Disney every year on our birthdays because we have the same birth date. And that's just a little special something that we do. We act like kids again. Not that we don't every day, but... <clears throat> But uh, it's just a fun thing that we do. And, and we go and smile and laugh a lot. And we haven't done that so much since all of this started. So it'll be nice to get back to that again. Although I have to say, you know, as much as there's things that I miss, and I say that things have changed, we really are very fortunate that we live in a time that we do because if you think about it I mean we are isolated at times and yet we're not really the majority of people have computers the majority of people have a phone of some kind that they can do FaceTime with family and friends so it's not like you're totally isolated you know if you'd been hundred years or a couple hundred years ago isolation would have meant something totally different 
So, one more, and then we are done with that portion of it. These are so pretty. Look at that. So I feel very blessed that we live in this day and age of computers. It's a blessing and a curse. It's a curse because, you know, we all spend too much time on here. Hey, Erin, thank you for joining me. Oh, love it. Haven't seen you in ages, girlfriend. Thanks for jumping on. So, as I was saying, these computers are a blessing and a curse only because we probably all spend a little too much time on them. But at the same time, it sure is nice to be able to communicate with friends and family and see each other and, you know, across the distances. I know I have daughters and and family that live out of the area that I can't just get in the car and drive off and see and it's really nice to be able to get on messenger or get on FaceTime and actually see them and have a conversation with them it's pretty cool if you think about it okay so that part is done Okay, so what we're going to do, now you can do this with floral wire or you can do this with twine. I'm going to do it with a little bit of hemp, I think here. Put my garbage away. Try it this way. And you just start stirring them on there, whatever order you want them in. Like I said, I'm just going to intermingle them, make sure they're all going the same direction. It's one thing you do want to do. Oops, that goes backwards. And that one. And we can go like that. Keep stringing them all on there. This is actually something that the kids could help with. You know, they could sit and string these all together for you. They could even probably put the tape on if you're using this tape. Oops, put that one on backwards. I'm telling you, I can't talk and do things at the same time. It's getting harder and harder. This route and this route and take that. Got one more to put on this end. Okay, so you can see what we're kind of making here. And what you do is you just kind of ah! <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so we'll get the rest of these back on here. It's been one of those days, people. One of those days. Okay, so now hang on to your strings. Set these all around like such and you're making a pumpkin so kind of spread them out roll them around however you want them kind of spread them out so you can see them pull it however tight you want it to be because you want them to be fairly snug after you get them all arranged Okay. 
All right, so then you tie a little knot in there and snug them up with your twine. Tighten it up real good. Make a knot. Get it as tight as you can get it. Okay, and then you cut these ends off, down like so, tuck the rest inside, and there's your little pumpkin. Okay, now, like I said, you can rearrange this a little bit however you want it. Okay, now what we're going to do is I collect, anytime I'm working with artificial flowers, I keep any leaves that fall off. So these are a little bit small, I think, for this one. So let me see what else I've got here. Oh, that looks perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cinnamon sticks, like such, and I'm going to wrap a little bit of twine around them. A little bit of hemp. I say twine, but it's actually hemp. So I'm going to put some go around a few times. And I'm going to tie a knot in it. See if I can, I'll show you here in just a second what it looks like. Okay. So that's what our stem is going to be. It's just like that. And you can take and put a little bit of glue, hot glue on here. And stick it right down there in the middle. And let's see if I can show you here. And there you go, there's your pumpkin. Now if you want, you can take some pipe cleaners. And you can make some little curlicues. And stick them down in there with it. Just to give it a little bit of glitz. Like I said, just make this your own. This is totally up to however you want it to look. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just strictly whatever you like. So there you go. There's our pumpkin. I'm not gonna lift it up because it's still a little, little wet. The glue's still a little wet, but I will turn it around. You can see all the different designs. It's cute, it's easy, it's budget friendly. You can get these rims just about anywhere. And if you wanna use the large rims, you can use the large rims to make the same thing. The cinnamon smells great. Uh, you can also get real creative and take some battery operated little fairy lights and stick them down inside of here. And then this whole thing would be lit up. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this craft today. Don't forget, on uh, Mondays at Friday afternoons, we do Talk and Dirt on Instagram. On Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, we do Poolside Chat with Roxy, yours truly. And, of course, we're doing fall crafts, heading into fall, and Halloween's going to be right behind it, folks. So we're always here on Facebook. 
and on YouTube, Pinterest, and at allartistforever.com. And don't forget, if you want to be up to date, you want to know when we're doing our lives, if you want to know when something new is coming out on the website, sign up for our texting list, and I will text you right ahead of time before we go live, or before I'll text you with all the latest information. Our number is 559-314-6422. That's 559-314-6422. If you sign up, you text that number. They'll ask you just a couple of basic questions. And then from that point on, anytime I do a live, I'll send a text out and you'll get a notification from me. I promise not to text too often. Anytime there's something new going on, which we've got some surprises coming up in September, folks. So stay tuned. You'll be the first to know. All right, again, stay safe. Happy birthday to everybody who's got birthdays out there. Happy anniversary to everyone that's got an anniversary. Stay safe, stay sane. Have an extra glass of wine, relax. <laughs> Hope to see you all again soon. Thanks for joining me. Till next time, bye.